He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so. He was impressive, young and aggressive, saving the world on his own. Warm summer breezes, the French wines and cheeses, put his ambitions at bay. The summers and winters scattered like splinters, and four or five years slipped away. He went to England and played the piano and married an actress named Kim. They had a good life. She was a good wife and bore him a young son named Jim. And all of the answers and all of the questions he locked in his attic one day. Cause he liked the quiet, clean country living and twenty more years slipped away. Well, the war took his baby Bombs killed his lady and left him with only one eye. His body was battered, his whole world was shattered, and all he could do was just cry. While the tears were falling, he was recalling answers that he never found. So he hopped on a freighter. Skidded the ocean and left England without a sound. Now he lives in the islands, and fishes the pilings, and drinks his green label each day. Writing his memoirs, losing his hearing, but he don't care what most people say. After 86 years of perpetual motion, if he likes you, he'll smile and he'll say, Jimmy, some of it's magic, probably tragic, but I had a good life all the way. He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so.